Hello everybody, my name is Philip Brown. I'd like to give you a little bit more of an in-depth overview of how these guided notes, quizzes, slash PowerPoint lessons work. So what you see on the screen right now is um, a set of notes that the students will be using. Now this is a fairly short one, it's just three pages. Um, I would probably assign some homework out of the book or something uh, for them to do later because this is a skill they definitely would need to practice. This is an example I just picked randomly, system of equations. So what you're looking at is what the students would actually have in front of them. And um, there's a QR code there. They can go through and um, they can actually find the quizzes assignment there through that QR code. It's got the bell work, it's got places where they're going to fill out the objectives and vocabulary and conceptual questions and then all of these questions over here uh, they match the lesson and so this is what they're going to have in one hand and one of the jobs they're going to be doing is they have to be familiar with what's on this because as they go through some of the things like vocabulary it doesn't have a slide that says vocabulary but the definitions are given in the lesson so they have to be paying attention and and managing both the the lesson and this and the examples and working together and all that kind of stuff so it's it's a little challenging but it's very engaging and I'll show you what the other side of it looks like with the uh, quizzes so I'm gonna go ahead and and here here's what the quizzes looks like so the reason this is different than just a PowerPoint is uh, these are just basically taken from PowerPoint slides but then there's questions that are interactive so the students are answering these questions and then they work through so I'm gonna go ahead and assign this as just homework and then I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, do the assignment um, as a student so let's see here let me copy the code and then let's see did it copy there we go and then we'll paste it up here and we'll take a look at what this looks like so I'll, I'll toggle back and forth between the notes and uh, this my internet's being a little slow there we go all right so if you do this as a live lesson then the way that you manage it is very similar to poo just using a PowerPoint and the PowerPoints do match the guided notes very very well but they don't give you all the feedback and all that kind of stuff um and it's not as much it's not as engaging for students either so with quizzes um, they would have this right in front of them with these same questions but it would also be on the board and instead of the students selecting the paces I'm going to be doing here uh, they would be doing um, you would be doing the the pacing of the lesson so uh, these are the same warm-up questions that are on the guided notes so there'd be time for them at the beginning to go ahead and to get their computers to log on to work on these two questions here and it shows them they're going to be doing that um, you know right here on the guided notes so then they go through and they've got a couple questions to answer and so this is kind of cool because they have to figure out what is the right answer and they drag them up so this is the lowest common multiple of three and five so I would suppose that's 15 and uh, boom tells them they're right fantastic so it'll move on to the next question now let's go ahead and answer this one wrong it says mixed number so I'm gonna just do the um, I'm going to select the wrong one so it shows you. Now you can set it up to show the correct answer or not when they're done. And I'm going to go ahead and get another one wrong here. And shows you wrong, shows you what was correct. So one thing I've noticed is that students are much more willing to actually um, attempt these questions with some diligence. Um, when it's in this format versus when it's on a PowerPoint or just in notes themselves because uh, here it's a little more engaging they get the note the feedback right away a lot of kids that are kind of blase about math um, they really get engaged so you got these kinds of matching questions now not every lesson has this many types of, of questions to answer but these are some of the examples that that, that quizzes offers so uh, you can use the free software I went ahead and down and paid the hundred bucks or hundred and whatever dollars hundred and twelve um, because I have a lot more control and interaction with um, Google Classroom and getting feedback so here here we're starting the lesson now so all that stuff is warm-up I usually tell the students if they miss the warm-up questions I don't count it against them but as we go through the lesson you're gonna see that every question that comes up we usually answer right before the questions there so I expect them to get all of those right so I usually allow them to miss just three at the most and they get full credit so anyway um, there's the objectives and from those objectives they would have to you know fill out the objectives here see where it says today's objectives um, 
So they fill all that out. And as they go through the lesson, um, you know, there's questions that you can use to discuss here. It kind of talks about what a system of equations is and uh, what a solution is and how all that works. And um, you discuss all those things before you even get to the slide. So I'd expect the students to already know the answers to this question and have it filled out on their guided notes before they even get here. So a system of equations is two or more equations that uh, share the same for our rough definition here. That's what it would be. All right. And so as the students work through, um, they've got all these things right here, like what is a solution? We talk about that. And that's one of the questions that they have to answer. Oh, it says, what is the solution to a system? Um, yeah, so as they go through, as you go through the lesson, or as this one is independent, um, they can work hand in hand with that those guided notes. And um, yeah, it's a really powerful thing. So a solution is a value that makes a statement true. All right. All right. So, yeah, so for which, oh yeah, so these are good kinds of questions right here. So for which of these lines is the solution, is one three a solution? So one comma three, that looks like the pink line. That would be this one with a positive slope. That's the kind of things you can talk about. Ask another question for two and uh, ask a bunch of those questions and then usually there we go see um, since you just talked about it in class I would expect the students to get this correct it's a good check for understanding it's a really powerful tool so anyway that's how these work when it's all said and done um, through quizzes um, you've got all your reports over here in your interface and you can go through and you can look how each lesson just went or each lesson went so I mean, this is the one we just did as practice. I did it a little earlier. Um, you can see that uh, if I clicked on it, uh, my six period class only got a 48% on this is not so great. But I, I, I don't, I'll have all the students' names there, so I, I'm not going to click on it. But it'll give you a list of who everybody is and how they did, how long they took to answer, what they did well, what they needed practice with, and all that stuff and so on. So anyway, it's really a powerful method that balances students using paper and pencil doing some real math and engaging with some online software so i hope this was helpful and uh hope you have a great day thank you very much